Which computer should I choose? Have you ever found yourself in this debate? I know in the beginning I did. Um, you know, it's something I'm always willing to look at when new technology comes out. So stay tuned while I share why the Surface Pro is the best one for teachers and online tutors right now. My name is Joanne Kaminsky, and I have been tutoring reading online since 2010. And I started with a regular laptop computer. I don't even remember what the heck it was. I just know that it worked. So if you're wondering if your current computer will work, most likely it will. But of course, mm -hmm. there are different computers with different bells and whistles. And the second computer that I got was a Mac Air. And I absolutely loved how light it was and easy to travel with. Now, this was at a time when computers were bulky and heavy. I love my Mac, and then one day while I was sitting in an airport working on my computer, an ad came up for Surface Pro. Now, it caught my attention. I loved how you could write on the screen and share multiple tabs at once. It was being passed off as a hybrid computer, a laptop, and a tablet, and I began dreaming about getting one. And one week later, I went to the Mac, the Windows store at the mall, and I wanted to do some further research. But as soon as I got to play with it and saw how it could benefit my business, I was sold. I walked out that day with my Surface Pro. <laughs> and when I, I used to tutor on the computer with other computers that I had, I would like, I'd have to write with my mouse, but it was hard to write. It, you know, it looked a little shaky, but not too bad. And it did the job. And this is an example of what it looked like while I was breaking up a word advertise. It took me a little longer to write than I wanted it to, but it still worked. Now, when I worked with kids in the school system, I would never write on my resources. But when you work online with kids, you can mark up the materials as much as you need to. It's really awesome. And then you can choose if you want to keep it or get rid of it at the end of the session as well. Now, when I had my Mac, the writing was the same as my PC. So when I moved to the Surface Pro 3, it came with a pen that I could now just write on the screen with. I mean, it was easy, it was effortless, and I loved it. Now, I know many people out there, they just absolutely love their Wacom or their Huion tablet, and I got one, and honestly, you know, it didn't have the same feel for me. I had a hard time getting it to work with my PowerPoints at that time, so it has pretty much been collecting dust at a desk ever since. Now, I have run into a ton of math tutors that swear by theirs, so I know it has many benefits for people, and their computer probably works just fine with it. The Surface Pro 4 pen has a battery that seems to last forever. The only time I need to replace it is when my pen was dying, but it was actually dying and uh, new battery didn't save it. So I have no idea what happened to it, but it lasted for three years without needing a replacement battery. Now I know that some people have a fear of what happens if I lose the pen. I certainly have that fear. I mean, this pen costs like a hundred bucks, so replacing it is costly. However, I've only misplaced my pen, not actually lost it in the entire time that I've had it. So don't let that be a concern for you. It was, um, it's amazing when something costs that much money, how much more cognizant you are about where it is at all times. <laughs> so let's take a look at the, bat, the life of the battery on the computer itself. So I can work on the computer for about four hours without needing to be plugged in if I'm typing and if I'm using Zoom. Then it will last for about two. At uh, one time I lost electricity and I was able to still teach using the hotspot on my phone. It's amazing to think that without electricity, I was still able to tutor online, but I was. When I tutor online, I'm usually in my office and plugged in, so battery life is only an issue when I decide to unplug. But now the Microsoft Pro 4 charger is much better than the charger I had for my 3. The cord would always seem to like wiggle out on one end of the battery, and then all of a sudden I would look up at my computer and it wouldn't be charging. I'd have to rush to plug it in. It was crazy. And then uh, the new one is like so super secure and never falls out. And I appreciate that they keep making a better product and not just a cheaper one. So when you're using a computer every single day, a cheap one is not always the answer. You want, you want one that has the features that you want so that you can get the job done. Now, do you currently have a Mac or a PC laptop? I'd love to hear how it is working for you. Have you ever thought of a Surface Pro? Comment below and let's keep this conversation going. Now, the Surface Pro has a pretty cool keyboard. In fact, it detaches from the device and, um, and then it's going to ask you if you want to go into tablet form or stay in computer form, which is pretty cool. I don't usually choose to teach this way, but if you wanted to even teach this way, you absolutely could. Now, the keyboard comes in many different styles and colors. It can be cleaned with soap and water. Speaking of which, I should probably do that more often. 
<laughs> one of my favorite tools that I have purchased for my Surface Pro 4 was Office 365. Now, all Microsoft computers are compatible with the software, but it's no longer free or just added to their product. When I decided to go with it, I was currently paying $100 a year for Dropbox. And when the salesperson told me that the Microsoft Office 365 came with OneDrive, which was pretty much the same thing as Dropbox, it came with more storage space, it was kind of a no-brainer move for me. So the tool that I love the most for organizing my businesses on there are Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. And I'm able to organize all of my students in OneNote in one notebook. And each student gets a tab, and then each day I work with a student, I organize them on a different page. This way I know everything that I have worked on with all of my students, and it's in one easy place. And this is also how I lesson plan. The information I usually need is what page did we leave off on in the book? So I write that page number down and look back to it during the student's next session. And it works perfectly. Now I know that some of you are wondering which Surface Pro to buy. And if price is the deciding factor, then go with the oldest model that you can find because that will be the cheapest. I just purchased a Surface Pro 4 about six months ago in addition to the three. And I've kept my three and now use it to work on uploading videos so that it doesn't slow down my main computer when I'm working with students. The storage space, space is small in this computer, so you do have to be careful about how much you store directly on your computer versus the cloud. The one feature that I love on the 4 is that when I sit down at my computer, I sign in by looking at it. It automatically recognizes me and turns on. Oh, yeah. Toot, toot. All right, give me a toot, toot in the comments if you love that technology is seriously always improving. So other than those things, I haven't really noticed a difference. So let's talk about the different prices they have. Microsoft actually has a teacher discount um, and tutoring counts. I just showed them my website and I got the discount. I didn't need to show that I worked at a school or anything like that, so I appreciate that. And this makes the Surface Pro a little bit more doable for teachers and tutors. Another tip is to buy it during a Black Friday sale. So here in the US, Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving. And this is the time of year that people start buying presents for people for Christmas. And Black Friday deals are right around the corner. I wouldn't expect the Surface Pro 6 to go on sale since it's being released on October 16th. Mm -hmm. But you will definitely be able to get a Surface Pro 3 or 4 at a discount. So keep your eyes open. Now, usually stores like Best Buy or anywhere you can buy computers will have it. You can also check Amazon for the Surface Pro 3 or 4. And sometimes you can find a refurbished one and it works just as good as a brand new one. And here are some things to look for when you are purchasing a Surface Pro online. Take a look to see if the keyboard and the pen come with it. If it's not listed, do not expect to receive it. You can always check questions that people have asked and look at the reviews from other buyers. This will often answer many of those questions that you have. You can get one of these awesome computers for a price point between $450 to $550 refurbished. We just bought a refurbished computer for my daughter for high school, and she absolutely loves it. So don't let the words scare you. Plus, once you begin making a ton more money with your online tutoring business, you can always upgrade to a nicer version or even buy a brand new one. You can deduct it as a computer expense at tax time. Every online tutor absolutely needs a computer, right? A lot goes into your decision for buying a computer. So don't let me stop you from finding the one that you love. Just think about what you want your computer to do and what will work best. I hope this helps you as you make your decision. And if this was helpful, please hit like, subscribe, and that little bell so you can stay informed when new videos come out. And if you're looking for a way to get students, join me for a free webinar, Three Secrets to Getting Online Tutoring Students. Just click the link in the description and one will be starting very soon and you don't wanna miss it. So I would love to hear what your favorite tool is for online tutoring. List it in the comments. Well. My name is Joanne Kaminsky, the Online Tutor Business Coach, and here is till next time.